everybody, and welcome to Three Ways to Profit with Monogramming and Gift Personalization. I'm Courtney with Stalls TV. I'm excited to be joining you guys today live on Facebook to talk about profit opportunities for the holidays. And um, I'm really excited about the holidays. I know Halloween just ended, but we are really gearing up for the holidays. If you're planning to start really selling for Christmas or for any additional holidays, um, coming up, you really need to get the jump start. In fact, I always recommend that apparel decorators dive in and go two, three months ahead of the holiday, definitely planning your designs, planning your samples, and then getting them out there. So today, I'm specifically going to talk about one really profitable opportunity for the holidays, and that's gift personalization. Of course, everybody's looking for that perfect gift and adding a name, adding a monogram, that really adds that extra touch of something unique, something personal. And when people see that, they immediately would rather go to a gift item that has that little extra personal touch that says, I went the extra step, rather than just buying a blank garment from another retail stop, a shop. So that really, uh, when you're a decorated apparel business, it gives you the way to stand out and really capitalize on those retail sales. We know people are ready to spend money this time of year, and we want to make sure that we're a big part of that as apparel decorators. So, Today, I want to show you a tool that I'm excited about. It is called um, the CAD, Kit, CAD Cut Template Designer. If you haven't seen this on Stalls.com, it's a really easy to use template designer, especially if you're busy at the holiday season. This is a perfect way to get a ton of templates and a ton of monograms created for you, and all you have to do is heat press them when you get those transfers into your shop. So I see a lot of you guys joining me here today on Facebook Live. Um, I see some from Chicago, some from Anato San Antonio. So um, go ahead and give me a shout out for where you guys are tuning in from. We're here in the Stalls TV location in Pittsburgh and we're excited to talk all about monograms today. So the first thing I want to do is I want to show you guys this designer tool on Stalls.com. So if you head over to the stalls.com website, this template designer is directly under the letters, numbers, and design section. So you'll see um, heat transfer designs and you'll see CAD cut templates. So that's the page that I'm actually on now where you're seeing this CAD cut template designer. This designer started with a ton of different designs for creating quickly and easily some of the most popular CAD cut effects in really low quantity. So I'll go into the designer and just talk a little bit about how it started. So you'll see there's a ton of basic templates that are in here that you can customize for schools, for businesses, for um, custom t-shirts in your local area. There's a ton of different designs and more being added all the time into the template designer. So we started it here. It makes a perfect way for you to be able to get a low quantity order. So if I just need one of these RSU Bulldogs designs, I could order one in glitter flake. I could order it in foil and adhesive. Um, anything like that. So a new addition to the designer that we just recently launched is the monogram option. So under the choose category, I'm going to go into one of the monogram styles. So we have circle monogram, diamond monograms, and then some universal monograms that are a little bit more unique for um, adding personalization to items like maybe um, a towel or a wedding gift or something like that. I really love circle monogram, so I want to start there and just show you guys some of the built-in templates that are in this designer. So I can go basic with just a simple um, design here with just the circle monogram, the most plain, or I can start really customizing it and making it unique for the customer that I'm going to be decorating for. So we see some that are perfect for children's apparel, for sports, for any interest really that somebody can think of. Um, cheer, I see beach themed, I see summer themed. There are some holiday themes, some really cool decorative wreaths around them. I mean, the options are limited. You can go and really scroll through these and spend some time thinking about how you want to position these in your marketing um, and how you want to offer these to your specific customer base. I'm going to just grab one real quick that has some arrows that I like. I may have scrolled past the one that I'm looking for. And just show you some of the power in um, customizing these here. So we'll go with antlers are pretty popular. We'll choose this one here. Now when I'm inside the designer, what I can do is I can customize this area of the design. So I'm just going to go ahead and type in my text. You'll notice there's some best practices when you're monogramming items. So if you're doing three item, three letter monograms, you always want to have the first initial the last initial, which is the most prominent in the center, and then the middle initial. So when you're typing these in, if I'm doing something for Christine Marie King, 
then I want to make sure I'm typing in CKM because King is going to be the last name and that's going to be the most prominent in the center. If you're new to monogramming or you're just wanting to know some of the best practices, in the description above the live video, you'll notice the complete mon um, guide to monogramming. You can download that ebook, it's free for you to have. That way, you can always remember. Um, how to position these because it's different for three letter monograms versus two letter monograms. If it's a wedding monogram for maybe two people, then the monogram would be different. So that's good for keeping those best practices. Once I have my monogram looking how I want, I can size it, I can um, move around the elements if I want to move the monogram around a little bit. I can completely customize this and then I can select my material. So I can go in here, select my glitter flake material. If I want to do a glitter option, and it'll even show me the colors that you guys are seeing here on the screen with that glitter pattern. So if I need to send a proof to a customer of what their print's going to look like, I can easily see that and see the color um, showing up there. So there's a lot of options for what you can do in CAD Cut Template Designer. You can use adhesive, fashion film electric, fashion film which has uh, 40 plus colors, so there's a ton of options there, glow in the dark, glitter flake, hologram. Um, Premium Plus, which is perfect for performance wear applications. I mean, the, the options are just limited. We're going to, uh, unlimited, we're going to show you a couple different finishes here in today's class, but incredibly easy. All you have to do is add it to your cart um, and then continue the shipping and the ordering process. And these ship really fast as well. So if you get the order in by 11 a.m., it'll actually ship that day. And if not, it'll ship the next day. So it comes out pretty quickly. Um, Rob, I see you have a question there coming in that you have your own cutter. Is there a way to download the designs to cut on your own? Um, not currently from this designer. This is just simply for sending them for stalls to cut for you, um, but that may be coming soon. And you can always use our CADWorks Live software if you have a monogram font that you want to um, use maybe a script font or something like that. And some of those really popular fonts are actually in the monogram guide that I have referenced in the description on the video here. Um, Janine, I'm glad you love the monograms. Me too. Um, there's nothing better for me than being able to monogram just pretty much about everything. So I love that as well. Um, Lisa, we can find these monogram guides. It should be up in the description of the video title. Um, it should say the complete guide to monogramming. If it's not there, you can go ahead and go to the stalls.com website and just search for monogramming and you'll see that there. But it should be available in the link above um, with the live video description. And we'll always put it here in the comments as well um, at the end of the class so you can reference back there. All right, so I think I've showed you guys some of the power in the tool. What I want to do is I want to take the idea here. Once I've ordered these transfers and they've came to me, I want to show three different items we can monogram and profit with this year. So I'm going to head over to the Fusion. And the first item I'm going to be printing is actually what I would consider a very stylish flannel, since it's the same one that I actually have on here. But being able to print and personalize um, items like this is really popular for women's apparel and for boutiques. So we look at flannels, we look at tunics, we look at um, a variety of items where you can put the monogram in a few different places. So I can place it here, I can place it down at the bottom of the hem. You can really get creative with where you want to put the monogram if you want it to be kind of understated in the way that you're going to be printing. I'm actually going to be putting it at the bottom hem of the flannel shirt here. So I want to isolate my print location. You'll notice I have a ton of buttons down these shirts. So I want to take this out and I'm just going to drop in a smaller platen. So there's a variety of sizes of platens that would work um, just to be able to isolate that print location. I'm going to use the 6x10 since I'll need it for a few other applications, but 8x10, 11x15, heat printing pillow, that'll all work as well. Um, Bill, you're asking if we can use two colors within the CAD Cut template designer. Not currently, but I could certainly press this in two colors. So if you're wanting to order it in a two color design, you would have to just um, order it separately. So break apart the two pieces and then send them both in as two different colors. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and load this on. Getting my print location, just something unique kind of down here at the bottom of the flannel shirt. I'll preheat to remove some of the moisture and wrinkles. I find that these flannel shirts that are actually from Sanmar, um, I saw a question just come in there asking about that. So you'll see the, um, this shirt's from Sanmar. They have a variety of colors available. Um, but I want to do something unique here on the bottom. Make sure I'm getting enough pressure, so I'm going to slide that over just a little bit. 
And then this is that two-step process. So I ordered this one specifically in the clear CAD cut adhesive. So if you're going to order your monograms in the adhesive that I have here, you want to make sure that you're going to also order a roll of foil if you don't have one that complements this since this is just the base. So I'll press this at a very light pressure at 5 seconds and 300 degrees. If you're new to foil, one really important thing, no matter what you're printing with the foil, is to make sure that you're not driving the adhesive down through the item. And so you want to be careful to make sure that the um, adhesive is on a very light pressure. So on my Fusion, I'm actually just at a 1. Um, so very, very light, just to tack it down there. And then we're really going to drive the foil and the adhesive down to the garment on the second step. The foil, you'll notice on the website, is actually also under the CAD cut section. It's just a simple heat transfer foil, so it comes in a roll like this. There's a ton of colors and finishes. So I just cut that down to size. Now, I'm only going to need a small piece of this, so after I press this adhesive and foil, I could save this extra piece that's over here and use it on an additional monogram or another design. I'm going to grab that cover sheet. And again, I want to make sure now I'm going to use a firm pressure for 10 seconds. So I'm dialing my pressure in with the knob on the top of the heat press here that's going to drive down that pressure. And I want to be reading at a firm pressure. So here on the Fusion, I'm actually reading out an 8, which is considered a firm pressure. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. The foil is a complete cold peel. So I want to let it cool down completely before I peel back that carrier. If I was doing a bunch of these monograms, I could just go ahead and set them aside as well. Start to peel this back, seems like it's starting to cool down enough. So I'll peel this back here, and you'll see I'm getting a, complete, um, a clean cut here so I could save this extra piece of foil, and I would definitely want to do so for other jobs. And then I've got a nice metallic foil print on the bottom of my flannel here. So just kind of a unique print location. I could easily um, think about selling these in a variety of different ways, but it just adds that little extra personal touch. So when people are looking this year, um, and right now is when people are really starting to look for gift items, I know myself personally, I'm already seeing ads on my Facebook, I'm seeing things on the um, television, I know um, kids of my relatives, they're all showing up, already showing what they want for Christmas. So make sure if you have, um, if you're looking to do this, you have this out in your store, you have this on your website, you have these kind of options available for your customers to see, and that you're using it in your marketing so that you're showing them you can now create personalized items. If they're looking for a shirt for someone special, maybe a sister, maybe a friend, then they can also add something a little bit different with the monogram to it. So big opportunity this year for that. The next thing I want to print, I'm going to go ahead and grab a laptop bag over here. This is for, I know monogramming is really, really popular for females, boutiques. We show a lot of that here on the morning show and at Stalls TV. Um, and so what I like to do is I like to show some opportunities for menswear because we can look at monograms that are, um, and this is actually a diamond one from the template designer that we'll be pressing, but something that's a bit more masculine. So you can go with some of these aerial fonts or some of these um, fonts that have maybe a diamond technique to them that are a little bit more masculine and you could easily print those and show that for something special, maybe for someone who travels, a businessman, or something like that for a gift. So this one I'm printing is actually an OGO backpack. Um, it's a really nice, soft, tweed polyester um, bag, so it's a really high-end item when we're looking at things that are profitable for the holiday season, maybe for a boss, maybe for someone special. This is a really nice laptop bag for that. This one also is available from Sanmar as well. So what I'm using here, you'll notice, is I swapped in that 6x10 for this location because it's going to allow me to now isolate this. When you print a laptop bag or any bag like this that has a lot of locations, you're noticing a lot of straps, a lot of pockets, a lot of thickness. This bag's perfect because I can isolate this print location and remove these plastic buttons because all that is going to fall down below this platen. Now, if you don't have interchangeable platens, you could certainly use a Print Perfect pad to isolate that print location. One thing also to keep in mind when you're printing bags or items that aren't going to be laundered is you don't always have to preheat those. So I'm going to skip that step here. I am going to cover this with a cover sheet just to protect all the elements from the heat press there since it's a nice high-end bag. 
You'll notice I grabbed a different type of cover sheet than what I had used the first time around. So different styles of cover sheets. The first one was craft paper. This one's a Teflon sheet. So everybody has their preference. Um, I usually prefer the craft paper because it's not quite as heavy. I can throw it on and off, but both are great reusable sheets. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and peel back my carrier here. And then you can see kind of the nice design that we have there. This product I chose to use is just fashion film. So CAD Cut Fashion Film kind of has a nice matte finish, so it really closely mirrors the matteness of this raised print here. Gives me a really nice soft texture, very similar to a screen print. So this is a very masculine look. And then you'll notice how that diamond monogram, which was also from the template designer, just creates kind of a unique monogram look. This I really see as a popular monogram style if you're doing something for maybe weddings. That would be another really great option too. And then I chose kind of that light gray color just to get that tonal masculine kind of effect there. So really great option for offering monograms on items outside of ladies apparel or ladies items. Um, Rochelle, she said that's great. I plan on doing lots of monograms for the holiday season. That's awesome. I think monogramming is a huge opportunity. So we would love to see um, what you've done here. You can always share them with us here on Facebook. Becky, the vinyl on this one that I'm using is CAD Cut Fashion Film, so I had mentioned that. I may have already answered it, but just in case you missed it, um, that one there is the CAD Cut Fashion Film. And then I'll also be using Fashion Film on my last design, which is another really great opportunity for thinking about gifting bags. When we think about the gift options right now for the holidays, a lot of items include bags, they include clothing, they include things that are a little bit more next level. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this bag here. And I'm going to go outside the box. So, so far we've printed something that's cotton, something that's polyester. This is going to be um, a faux leather or what they call a vegan leather now, which is really just a faux leather item. And we're going to talk about how to heat press that. We've pressed this a few times on a variety of different things on Stall TV. So some live classes, some morning shows. And I'm going to be using CAD Cut Fashion Foam at 300 degrees to apply this to this bag. Now, the bag actually has some zippers and things that you're going to notice in the way, so I want to make sure this bag is actually perfect for um, heat printing and monogramming because you're noticing how this pocket area just completely zips open. So I can now completely isolate all of this extra bulk and thickness and the snap here. But I want to make sure I'm getting these um, zippers off of the platen as well. So I'm going to raise the print area with a 4x4. Four four. If you have a heat press or if you're looking to invest in a heat press, if you're doing gifting, monogramming items like this, this is where the power of having these interchangeable tools is really important because it really allows you, especially the fusion, because you're noticing how the fusion base is so narrow, it allows you so much space and room to kind of get in here and print a lot of bags and a lot of different items. So that's really one of the reasons that it's one of my favorite heat presses. So I've got that 4x4 four four platen on there. Again, this is an item I'm not going to worry about preheating simply because it's not going to be laundered. If you're going to go down to a 4x4 four four platen like this, you want to make sure that your graphic is within the specs of a 4x4. Four four. So I've cut this to a 3.5x3.5. Three three you could probably go as low as a 3x3 three three and still have success in printing um, this location. That may give you a little bit more room to play with because I'm a little close. I can feel underneath on my platen here as I'm lining up the transfer. Okay, so I've got the leather bag loaded on here. I've got my transfer lined up to the 4x4 four four platen. The next step I'm going to do is I'm just going to press this and tack the carrier down for five seconds. What I want to be careful to do is I don't want to put too much heat directly onto this leather item, and I also don't want to drive this carrier in too much that it leaves a carrier mark. So I've pressed fashion film at 300 degrees for five seconds. And then what I'm going to do, because I can actually already feel that leather warming up a little bit, so 15 seconds would have been a little too hot. It could have potentially um, messed up the leather. So I'm going to take this cover sheet, which is called a flexible application pad. It's basically just a silicone, uh, silicone cover that allows you to protect heat sensitive items like a plastic zipper, plastic buttons, or a leather like this. So I'm going to cover the full bag with that. And then I'm going to drive this in for 20 seconds to make sure it sticks and stays and it's a durable print. 
I'm also using a light to medium pressure because I don't want to drive too much pressure on a small platen like that four inch platen that we have there. So while that's finishing up, Evelyn, I see your question about what should you charge for this service. Um, I really would recommend um, adding this as a personalization. So I know a lot of printers will add um, a $10 charge to any item that they're selling for personalization. If it's something small, like maybe a, um, a bag like this or a pair of shoes, you may add only $5 onto the item. But I would look somewhere between $5 and $10 to charge for adding that personalization um, to your item depending on your market and what you're printing. Of course, some higher end items like these types of bags will usually allow you to sell at a higher price than something like maybe a t-shirt that has a monogram on it. But I definitely wouldn't be afraid to add those additional charges on there um, as an upcharge to adding the monogram onto an item. So that was the final item in the series. That one's actually from the Wholesale Boutique. So I think I've got a lot of the questions coming in here on Facebook Live today. Um, if you have any other questions coming in, go ahead and type those in. I'm going to head back over to the table. I want to show you guys one more thing in the template design. I know that just recently launched. I think it's a pretty cool feature. And so what I want to show you as we're thinking about the holidays, we are actually having a Facebook Live on Monday at 11 a.m. It's going to be a Stall TV morning show full of all the items and things that you can offer for the holidays and where to find designs and all that good stuff. Jenna and I will be in that. But we want to make sure that you guys see some of the cool new designs. So we also have added some holiday designs into the template designer. A variety of clip art, graphic sayings, and items are also available in here for creating some of those unique designs. But definitely head over to the CatGut templates. Um, here in the video description, you'll see the CatGut templates link. We're offering 5% off through November. So if you want to start ordering some things in, test it out, get some samples made, this is the perfect time to do so. Um, also checking out some of those holiday designs there as well. So I've enjoyed spending some time with you guys today for your lunch hour here on Facebook Live. Like I mentioned, we'll be back on Facebook Live on Monday at 11 a.m. for the morning show. And then we've got all of our live classes here on Facebook under the events tab on the stalls page as well. So you can check those out and tune in as well. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me.